am out on my balcony as you can see behind me there's Haiti we just arrived here a little bit ago it's early in the morning and uh, I'm a little tired as you can probably see from my eyes but excited for the day I don't know what I'm gonna do I might go on this dragon coaster I know that's what Eric's doing I might do a zip line I don't think I'm gonna the, the wave runner I don't think I want to get wet today so might do the zip line or the dragon coaster, but I saw the wave runners running behind me. You see those little things back there? Those are the wave runners, um, which would be pretty fun also. But either way, going to do something exciting today. I'm going to show you what's going on here in Labadee, Haiti, and what else is going on on the ship. So I'll see you soon. Well, we just got off the ship, and here we are, the independence of the seas, and we're going over to Haiti, which is right over there. The island looks gorgeous and looking forward to the fun. Well, I'm at the bottom, front of the ship. We're just arrived. I'm walking down the pier. Labrador is a gorgeous island. Basically, Royal Caribbean owns a part of Haiti. They own like a little alcove in Haiti, a peninsula, and they have all sorts of activities. They're gonna have barbecues out here. Um, there's a nice beach, which you'll see eventually. But for now, you can just see the back of the ship, or the front of the ship, actually. And it's pretty massive. And, you know, we love this ship. We've been having an amazing time so far on the cruise. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find some of our, of our crew. I don't know who's actually out right now or who's not out. Um, I don't know who got off the ship. I haven't found anyone yet. Like I said, it's still early. But... At least here you've got gorgeous views, gorgeous water to this side of me. And we're approaching, I guess, the little beach area and we'll see what's going on. But for now, I mean, enjoy the gorgeous views of our ship, as you can see there, the independence of the seas. And uh, it's gonna be a very good day. Here's some of our people saying hi to me. And uh, yeah, right now it's, uh, it's as good a day as can be. I, I'd say it's probably about 90 degrees. It's gorgeous out. You can see me squinting a little because the sun is strong, but listen to the sound of the ocean, listen to those waves, the music. What more could you want? I mean, this is what Dice Tower Cruise is all about. I say forget the gaming. We've got the sunshine and the paradise. Here we are, welcome to Lapidee. And I made it. I, you can see everything that's going on. There are all sorts of adventures. This is the zip line I'm talking about here. And I might try it. So, looks pretty cool what they're doing. Zip lines over the water. And here's the information center with all sorts of information. And let's see what's going on at the beach. Well, as you can see over there, the zip line. No one's coming down yet, but I might come over to it later. Right now, I'm going over to what's called the Dragon Coaster. And I know Eric's over there, so we'll see if we can find him. But here we are in gorgeous Labrador. There's our ship, Royal Caribbean. And let's see what's going on over here. So as you can see up at the top, there's the top of the zip line. It literally goes down the whole island. I'm going over to the Dragon Tail Coaster now to see if I can all access pass, but I might do the zip line later. For now at least, we're here. We're at the Town Square tram station. It's a gorgeous day, a super hot day, but a gorgeous day. And you can see everything that's going on. I see some people at the top of the zip line. It's hard for you guys to see, but the zip line literally goes all the way across the water through there, down. It's pretty exciting. So here we come to the Dragon Coaster. This is kind of an alpine slide, but in the mountains. It's pretty exciting. Gonna see what's going on and check out the beach as well. I can see gorgeous beach views here and everything. I'm very excited to explore Labity Haiti here and enjoy the day well here's the dragon coaster i've been informed why you don't see a line is because they're actually doing maintenance on it so it's not open but let me show you what it's like for the next time we come to labadee <laughs> which might be in our next cruise or a future cruise but eric eric's gonna be so disappointed when he finds out about this but basically 
you come up here and there is a track. Let me see if I could show you the track here. This is the track. It's all made of metal, as you can see. And it's kind of a Alpine coaster. So you start off, you go here, and you can see it's an Alpine coaster. And behind there, you can see the chain, and that's where you go up. It's a chain that pulls you up, and it's a really long chain. This is only a little portion of it. Then you come sliding, and you slide pretty far in this thing. It goes a good length. I'm gonna show you a little of the twisty track back here. I'm gonna definitely have to talk to Eric later, I have to say that, because he, um, this was the thing he was most excited for. They got an all-day pass, and he can't do it. So let me show you what it, what it would have been like. Um, unfortunately for us, it's closed for the day, but you can see here, um, they're just monitoring it. Unfortunately, it's closed for the day, right? Yes, it's closed. Closed, unfortunately. But you can see here, here's the end of the track, and here's where they come through, and you can see all the little hills and the bumps, and just imagine all the way in these mountains here, there's so much more that it's an amazing time. I've done this before. I was hoping to get another ride in today, but there's always other things to do. So from here at the Dragon Coaster, I'm gonna go over and see how the zip line is. Well, I know it's hard to see here, but as I pan over, do you see those little lines? That's the zip line. This zip line goes over the mountains where we were. It comes all the way down across the beach and it ends up on the other side of that beach there. It's really long. They said it's almost 3,000 feet long. So that's where I'm gonna go to next. And I might even do Superman style, go face first down this one. It'll be interesting to see. So as you can see up here above me is part of the dragging tail coaster, unfortunately closed. Um, and you can see the zip lines way above me there. And I'm actually gonna head back to the other side of the island where the front of the zip lines are, but we'll see what's going. Like I said, we'll see it's, you know, Unfortunately, this thing was closed because I love this. I mean, if you like roller coasters, it's kind of the alpine slidey kind, as you saw from the from the pictures there. But either way, zip lines are good. Everything's good. I mean, I might actually do that wave runner now. I, I got to see. I have to go back on the ship and get a bathing suit to do that, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go and hit the tram and then figure things out and eventually have the barbecue lunch on the island here, which should be amazing too. Well, I know you're wondering why there are all these people standing on that little thing in the middle of the water that little looks like a tiki bar that's actually a floating bar so you have to go into the water and then you can go over there and go to a bar which is literally in the middle of the water which I think that's pretty cool that they have a water bar and the beaches look gorgeous today I think everyone in our group is gonna have an amazing time here in Labadee Haiti so I ran into someone from our gang Mark Street someone. here. Wow, someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are you going to be doing today? We're doing the kayak adventure. It's going to be awesome. Paddling out into the ocean, going to some cove and some shopping areas and stuff. It should be pretty amazing, actually. Kayak? I was just talking about how I want to do a zip line. Are you going to make me look like I'm lazy? You're going to sit yeah, there doing active activities. And I'm going to have active activities. And I'm letting gravity kind of take me down a, a, yep. a rope. And then in Jamaica, we're doing the hiking and horseback riding four, hour and a, four and a half hour tour. Nice. Yeah. Well, you know what we're doing in Jamaica. We're going up Dunn's River Falls with Restoration Games, yes. which is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, cool. Well, it's going to be a fun day here. Yeah. Let's go walking and see what else yeah, is going exactly. on. So I found Patrick here, um, you know, our our uh, convention director for Dice Tower Con. Um, you know what people were telling me last night? What was that? That the cruise is even better than the con, that this is the best experience they've had. We haven't, we're going to have to have a competition now on who could run a better convention. Well, it has to be me because, you know, you're just so disorganized, Jesus. <laughs> but I've got a cruise ship. I think it's got to be me. I'm in Orlando right next to Disney World, so, you know. We're on a beach in the Caribbean right now. And? That's awesome. <laughs> in Florida, you can do that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, both conventions are awesome. Dice Tower Con, Dice Tower Cruise, Dice Tower West, you're going to get Vegas. We have so many Dice Tower events this year. It's going to be an amazing year for Dice Tower and people who want to meet us, see us at different places. We're super excited. These flies are everywhere, but we're super excited. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See you soon. <laughs> Wait, so look who I found here, Rebecca. Are you guys having a good time with your family? Awesome. 
It's amazing. We just went snorkeling. Yep. You did? And now we're in the market. You're looking at bags yes. and stuff? Yes, we are getting some sandals for Caitlin and yep. souvenirs. So we are excited. It's beautiful. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> so I found Hunter. Hello. How are you? I see you're being dragged along to do shopping. <laughs> hey, I'm actually going to get me a shirt. <laughs> So you're having a good time so far on the cruise? Amazing, amazing cruise so far. Give me a quick review. So we've done, uh, let's say we did the snorkeling this morning. It was awesome. We, uh, earlier, we went to all the Dice Tower things and had crazy dinners, meals, the food's amazing. All the Dice Tower stuff's amazing. It's great, great cruise. Awesome. I found my man Z. Hello. Um, how are you enjoying the beach? And Amanda back there. How are you? Come up here, Amanda, you can join us. How are you guys enjoying it so far? It's nice and toasty. Oh my God, it's so hot. I know, it's like, I, I've been melting. Are you gonna do anything today? Are you gonna do any activities? Just walk around? Just walk around for a little bit, I think. I'm gonna do that Superman zip line. Did you see that giant really? zip line? I'm going to. Okay, thank you. They just Kenny's gonna shoot footage of me, I think, so it's gonna I end up on, the, on this, I think. I wanna see that. We'll see. Yes. I've got to see that. Yes. Shout out to Trip, been amazing so it's been far? Good. It's been awesome, yeah. Awesome, awesome, I'm glad and, well, I guess welcome to Lavity. It's great. Well, here we are with a nice buffet and um, let's see what they have here. It looks like hamburgers and hot dogs and other things. So, the ship just served this to us and we have hamburgers, hot dogs. So it's an outdoor barbecue and it looks like some corn I see Mark found. It looks like roasted chicken and some ribs and it's a nice little barbecue lunch today that we're having here on the island. Well, here we are. Welcome to Labadee. We're in Town Square right now, but you can see you are here. Over here was that dragon coaster that we couldn't do. The zip line goes all the way across and the zip line's there. So we're actually gonna walk all the way across the island now. I'm with Kenny and we're gonna walk across the island and we're gonna go to the zip line and I'm gonna do some Superman. So me and Kenny hiked up. I don't know what this is. It's like a little, uh, what would you call this, Kenny? There was like, we found a path and Kenny said, let's go, right? Yeah, it's a little trail that comes up to uh, like a site. A sightseeing thing. We're gonna show you the view of it, but it's it's uh, it's a good hike. It's a really gorgeous day out. In fact, it's a little hot out here. And, and we live in, in Miami and this is even hotter than Miami, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so here's the view from where we are. Look at this, it's just gorgeous mountains and water and this is, beautiful this part of Haiti here and you can see this little place that we climbed up we hiked up here it was gorgeous and look at the beautiful views I mean there's mountains there's water this is pretty much paradise right here so I'm following Kenny as we're walking to the landing pad of the zip line I'm gonna be doing a Superman zip line so I'm pretty excited as you can see there's a landing pad here um, this is the end of the zip line, and I think Kenny will be able to sit over here and watch me. And you can see it goes all the way up there, all the way. You see a little thing at the top where I'm going to come flying all the way down the mountain. It's going to be a long, long thing over the water, like Superman. Pretty excited. Let's see what the view is going to be from, from Kenny's side as we come down. So here come some people on the seated ones. I'm going to be doing the Superman one, but as you can see the people here on the seated ones, they're flying literally across the water. It is really cool. Well, here are the peaceful sounds of the beach. Look at these waves coming in. It's just gorgeous here. I love it. All I have to say is if I can spend every day here, this is paradise. Look at those. Look at the surf. Look at the waves. Listen to the sound of of the ocean coming in along the beach. It's just beautiful here in Labadee, Haiti. And this is what you get when you come to Dice Terror Cruise. And here we are on Dice Terror Cruise 3. Can you believe this is our third one? We're gonna be doing another one next year for sure. So if you didn't make it this time, hopefully you'll be out here with us seeing stuff like this in the future. Well, hey stranger, how are you doing? I heard you're going ziplining with us. I am, you're going ziplining too? Right now, That's we're all awesome. going together. Woo! I'm excited, I've never been. Never been ziplining before. It's gonna be awesome. I did the seated one a few years ago. This time we're going Superman, Superman! style. Woo! I'm excited. Hello. So I found Rebecca. What are we doing now? We are gonna fly like Superman down the mountain because we're crazy. No, you're supposed to go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. We're totally doing Superman. This. We're gonna do this. We're, we're totally doing this. It's awesome. 
my dad and Caitlin are coming with us too. I know. And I guess Kenny's supposed to record me, and I think he's going to record you guys. We're going to get some footage of this. We're going to fly so fast, he may not be able to catch us. I know. (laughs) Like, the speed of sound over over giant buildings, tall towers, mountains. Ocean. Ocean. Yeah. It's going to happen. I know. This may be our last video. (laughs) I hope not. (laughs) No. So as you can see, here comes some Superman. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going Supermaning across this very soon, which is pretty cool and exciting. Well, here we are at the top. As you can see, it's a very different view from up here. I'm going to go over and show you what it looks like from up here. Um, We're coming over here. There's where we're going to go up to our our Superman zip lines. But let me show you the view from here. It is gorgeous. Look at how amazing this is. Look at our ship down there on the other side. And yes, we are going to be going flying down this thing in just a minute here. It is really amazing. Yes, I'm really here, and yes, we're going to be going down this very shortly. It's going to be exciting. So now I'm helmeted in, ready to go. Superman! (laughs) Or Superman! I can't really stick my hand in front of the camera right now, but there's our ship below us, right behind me over here. And over here. (laughs) Somewhere right there. And uh, the zip lines, and we're about to go. can't believe I made it. I was flying like Superman there. Incredible. Okay, how awesome was that? That was amazing. That was so awesome. That was, that was, <laughs> I felt like Superman the whole time, but that was just awesome. Yes, and you can look down into the ocean and see things. You, you tell me about the Wait, coral. He, that was crazy. He was screaming like a baby. <laughs> I heard. It was, it was awesome. It was amazing. Yeah, that's, that's worth it. Totally worth it. Yes. Okay, Gorgeous. Thank you for- So, this is the coaster that we didn't get to do, but it's okay. Eric's probably jealous. I'll have to ask him later when I see him what happened. But at least I got to do this. Even cooler than this, I got to do the Superman version. So now we're gonna get back on the ship and everything will be great. And we got our group picture coming up. So here we go back to the ship. Look how amazing it looks. This is just an immense ship, the Independence of the Seas. We're having an amazing voyage so far and group picture time. We're gonna be right there in front of the helipad, which will have the island behind us. It's gonna be a gorgeous picture, I think. So uh, right now we're just having an amazing time and uh, I absolutely love this ship. Look how gorgeous it is. It is a masterpiece and this cruise has been nothing but amazing so far. We have so much more to do. We have stuff tonight. We're gonna be in Jamaica tomorrow. We have game shows and the last day. It's just going to be a wonderful time. So this is one of the best things to take a nice cold towel to refresh at the end of the day. Super excited about this and I love the service Royal Caribbean gives everyone. Now let me go get my towel. Well, here we are coming back to the gaming room and I'm tripping. As you can see, we have the nice dice tower set up here. And we're about to get the tablecloth in about a half an hour. We're gonna do our group photo. So I will bug Tom at some point to see if he gets off this table on time. 
I'm curious how far in the game he is because he knows we need this tablecloth for the group photo. <laughs> now what? That we need this nice. tablecloth for the group photo in a half an hour. Why do we need a tablecloth for the group photo? Because we're going to hang it over the railing and it's going to be in front of the whole group. These are really useful things to tell me. Like really useful. <laughs> we started a game on the table. But you're going to be getting up and ready to take the photo, aren't you? We were going to leave the game set up while we did so. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> Magic trick. I don't think My we're going to hang it over the photo, the, the thing. So, Brian, we need a tablecloth, and I heard you're gonna do a magic trick, and you're gonna take this tablecloth and leave the game set up while you pull it out. We can do that. Can, can we do this for real? A one. I like what's on his face right now. Says we definitely need to try it. Is that what he's saying right there? You pull it off, you get a free cruise. Nothing has to move, including his rubber band. He's going to the red space. Well, as you can see here, I've got my. Dice Terra Cruz um, shirt on because we're about to do our group picture. I'm going down. I'm going to check the star launch first to see if people are there, which is on deck seven, two decks below this. And then from there, I'm going to go down to the conference room just to clear it out. Tom's down there too. And then from there, we'll make sure everyone comes up. We have some really good ideas for the picture, and it's going to be really cool and really exciting. This picture. I can't wait to see what it's like to have 650 people all standing there on the helipad. One giant group picture. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we are going to the front of the ship. I've got my extra shirts in case someone forgot some. Here's Darjan, who's been our amazing onboard group coordinator helping us out. And we're about to go to the helipad. Um, have you ever seen this many people on the helipad before? Me personally, never. Honestly, never. So this is gonna be Great pretty experience. immense. Yes, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Joy, guys, all the best, yeah? Okay, I found Eric. Yes. Was your day ruined because the roller coaster was closed? Oh, man, I was so sad. There was a phone call. And so like all night I couldn't sleep because I wanted to ride the roller coaster and I couldn't. You knew about this yesterday? I knew about it yesterday. It was a message. Did you not see the flashing light on your phone? No, like, I went there to sign said, up today I'm very and- very sorry. Yeah, no, they don't. I actually went all the way out there to sign up and then they're like, we're closed, the motor broke. And I was like, oh, Eric's gonna be disappointed. I was. Yeah, we just we just sobbed. I sobbed for like five, ten minutes. I know. Then we came in, but I got a necklace. Excellent. Small consolation. And you had a good time. Good time on the island. Yeah. Excellent. Um, I was with another romance writer. I did Superman zipline with one of the romance writers. That that's great. I'm gonna introduce you later. That's great. <laughs> So we are here on the helipad. This is the front of the ship, like literally the front of the ship. And our whole group is organizing here so we can take the picture. Um, you can see we're all coming off the helipad. There is the actual front of the ship where the captain is. You see that guy on the bungee thing up there? He's our photographer. Um, I don't know how we're gonna organize, but let me just see what it's like back here. I'm gonna go to the other end. Here we are, this is the actual front of the ship, and we're gonna have all 650 of us are gonna be here. 646 to be exact are going to be here. There's the front of the ship. Let me come around and see what's going on over here. So we are gonna be all the way lined up here. I don't know how they're gonna line us up, but you need to be in the front, Ambie, because we're putting all of us in the front. <laughs> and here we are, this is the actual front of the ship. As you can see, we are now at the end of the ship. This is, this is the titanic moment of the ship. So I'm the king of the world. And uh, I think someone's gonna video that for me in a second here. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world, not Tom, as you guys just saw. So here we have more crowd coming, more crowd coming. And this is pretty immense. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what's going on here. But this is insane right now, the amount of couple that are coming up this. And I'm gonna just peek over here to show you what our banner looks like. I'm coming down the steps as other people are coming up. We've never seen this many people on a deck all at once. But basically here we have our banner. As you can see in the front, we have the giant Dice tower there are limited seats, so hurry so up to everyone will know deck five, who we are, forward, and, I'll and see you there. we will be here. Me and Tom will be lined up in the front here with Kenny. Kenny's up there. He's organizing the sign. Um, Kenny, I think it's a little off-center. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, are we excited? 
we've never had this many people in this thing. Oh my god, I think the, the, the boat's gonna tip over this thing. <laughs> uh, uh, well, here we are. No more gamer pictures. Here we are in front in front of the thing. Dude, we want to get these pictures taken. What are you doing? Well, we're, we're, we're waiting. We still have another person coming. So we still have another person coming, and uh, we're excited. We have everyone here. Roy's here. Sam's here with me. Are we excited? Is it gonna be the coolest picture ever? It's well, no. It's actually the hottest picture ever because it's really hot up here. I know that. Hey, yeah. at least these shirts are very like warm and insulating. Yes. So here we are, taking off from Labadee, Haiti. Um, you can see the cove where we were. There's that zip line up in the mountain that I went over the water. Um, just a gorgeous pier and. I mean, a nice little beach that we spent the day at, and now we're heading back to the open ocean and ready for some dinner, ready for some, for some other things. So let's see over here, and here's that open ocean that we're going into. Well, here we are in the dining room, and it's murder mystery night. David over here is our murder mystery host. Hey guys. And uh, a bunch of sleazy people, murder types here. So we'll see how I it goes. I know. It's supposedly it's a murder on a cruise ship, from what I understand. That's correct. It's a yacht. It's a murder on a yacht. Yes. So they couldn't afford a full cruise ship, but it's a murder on a yacht. Right. And I can see all these tables are kind of set up with people reading and doing all sorts of things. So it'll be an interesting night to see what's going on here. And they're all doing this murder mystery over here. So. We have a lot of tables of murder mystery, it looks like. And some people are actually, some people look like they're more into the murder mystery than others. <laughs> so I didn't know this was cosplay at the same time. Thought it, thought it was cosplay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so we have another table here and some interesting guests on this side of the table. Uh, you guys are really into character for this one. I thought we were too close to Please call me Lucy. <laughs> yes, Lucy. <laughs> and some people are probably wearing the Dicera Cruz t-shirts from the photo from a few hours ago. Well, as, as you see us here, it looks like a different restaurant tonight. I'm here and Laura's right next to me here. And <laughs> um, Why are you with my wife? <laughs> Tom's here too. Anyway, we're hosting a dinner where we had, on the first night game show, we um, had a the winners were giving them a dinner at Chops. We actually have a table of 15 here that we're doing a nice dinner for. And it's really nice. I'm going to get some pictures of it and show you guys what's going on. And, you know, we, we like to do special things for our guests. So this is one of the special things we do for the people who come here on the cruise. Sorry about the bright. Yeah, it is bright. <laughs> so here's our table. As you can see, Kenny's with us tonight. And we have a nice big table with a beautiful ocean view so it's pretty exciting and this is this is what's going on here at chop tonight so so we just finished our dinner at chops and here's Corey. um ah uh, dinner was good <laughs> i know we um i, I love chops and Corey is like one of our best fans. We, we love him. He, uh, and uh, he helped us out at Gamma and all sorts of things. And he does some stuff for Dice Star News. And, you know, it was such a good dinner. Wasn't it a good dinner? Oh, thanks. We, that dinner was amazing. It's You guys were too nice letting me in on that. No, I mean, that's what we do is we like to bring people out and treat everyone good. And it was it was so nice. And then we were talking about food and all sorts of restaurants. And oh. I, I'm such a foodie. And me too. I know. this. We, we're just going to reminisce now about good food for a while. So... French Laundry. Uh, At the French Laundry, 10 course, 12 course, just little thing after little thing after little thing, and everyone is meticulously just designed just for you. Uh, I'm coming out to your house just so I could go there. I, I I've never you. been. I'm so excited now. I'm more excited than I've been in a while because that's like bucket mm. list restaurant. My daughter was underage when we went, and they handcrafted soda pairings for every course. Holy cow. Okay. Homemade soda pairing. Uh, okay. I'm in. <laughs> I don't know that I can vlog that, but I, I'm so in. Anytime, Beth. You thank come to you. California, this old hippie will find room for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. And uh, let's go see what's going on in the gaming room now and what else is going on tonight. Absolutely. <laughs>
So uh, we just saw Journey. Don't stop believing. Tom's a pretty good singer too. What did you think? I mean, I, I, I love the shows here on the ship. They're usually pretty good. What did you think? Oh, I like all the shows, right? Like we're walking by like a live show right now. Well, music. And now they can't hear us anymore, but it, it's still good. And uh, we're going to go upstairs now, I think. But yeah, yeah. This is one of the nice things about being on a cruise, even if it's the music. I mean, at night there's always music, different kinds of music, and it's, it's one of those amazing things about cruising, I think. I agree. I really like live music everywhere and I have it all over this ship. Exactly. So anyway, we're heading up to the Windjammer to see what's going on up there. It's been pretty busy. We're, we're going to see if it's busy again tonight and uh, hopefully it's rocking again. So we're walking into the Windjammer here and there's a big sign here. This is great. Look at what they did for us. Um, they basically said, Dice Terror Cruise 3. Currently we are welcoming guests from Dice Terror only. We actually have all the space here in the Windjammer, which is pretty nice. And at this hour, everyone's done eating. And this is all gaming. And it's pretty full with games. I mean, we've come up here and there's been gamers at night. There's been gamers everywhere. And as you can see, we have gamers on the left side, a lot of them. Um, we're extended all the way back here. If you turn around, there's games going on here. There's games going on over here. And it's basically, you know, we, we are using this space and using it well. And it's nice to see people playing games. And obviously, they've, they've given us water service and everything else. And this has been amazing to have this space. And we're so happy that there's room for everyone to game here on the ship. And, you know, Royal Caribbean has done a phenomenal job taking care of our group. So we are so happy with what they've done. And, you know, next year's gonna be even bigger and better. So we're super excited about everything. So we are in the very back part of the Windjammer now, in case you wanted to know. And as you can see, there's still table space, which means I feel potential for growth in future years, because there's all this space that we could fill with. Tom is about to say what? something. Come on, you know, can you imagine every one of these tables filled with gamers in a few years? This is, we have so much space we can grow into and they've been so good to give us all of this space. And I love that we can grow. The front part is filled and the back part, there's still people coming in here. It's, it's incredible. It, I, I can't say anything else except we're treated so well here. So I found Peter from Breaking Games and you're demoing one of your games here. Yeah, that's show, right. show us the cover. You gotta pull it in because I can't really this tilt the camera. temporary, but it is, uh... Dwellings of Elder Vale. So it's pretty exciting. I mean, you can sort of see, obviously not final artwork, as we always say when it's prototypes, but. but I mean, check this out. I'm controlling these Earth Elemental right now and a Chaos Elemental. Oh, that is Tons cool. Of units. It's like a Lord of the Rings epic. Uh, area control, tableau builder, and worker placement. Yes. And I hear that there's something else today that oh, happened. Well, you know, a little thing. Yes, happy birthday. Thank you, I appreciate um, it. <laughs> so, uh, it's also his birthday, so uh, did you have a good day? I did, I had an epic day at the cruise here. Checked off so many things, you know. Uh, Haiti, uh, Whirlpool, awesome food, sushi, gaming, lots of gaming. Uh, a nice birthday message from a lot of the Dice Tower, so it was a pretty good day. Yes, well happy birthday. Thank and. Uh, you. One thing you didn't check off is we do have to play a game at some point yes, before the end. Absolutely. So looking forward to it. I know, me too. Anyway, um, we're glad to have you. You know, Breaking Games, one of the publisher sponsors here on the cruise, and you know, happy to be here. We're we're thankful that you came too. So Thanks. we're looking forward to to new releases as they come out. Absolutely. Happy 2019. Yes. Well, I'm gonna check out what's going on in the conference room at this hour, and then eventually go to bed. But uh. It looks like it's still hopping in here. Not crazy hopping, but sort of hopping in here. I mean, it, it is almost midnight at this hour, but there are still a lot of people who are here playing games, even at this hour of night. So let's see what's going on over in the library and go talk to our good friends, Vernon and Nina. Well, I found Vernon and Nina. 
Um, we look like midgets today, which is kind of cool. I, I usually don't look like the big person. How are you guys? We're doing all right. We're about to close the library again. Well, close the checkout part. People could play games all night, but... Uh, People can take games as long as they bring them back responsibly. Yes, bring them back responsibly. Um, anyway, uh, Vernon's got another painting thing later in the week, so we're excited. And... Uh, we're going to play laser tag tomorrow night, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Yes, yeah, definitely. At 4 o'clock. Right at 4 when, when, we, when it opens, or are we going to do it after dinner? Which one? We'll, we'll figure it out tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Anyway, we're going to do laser tag tomorrow. We're so excited. Anyway, we will see you a little later. I just want to check in with my good buddies over here. Well, look who I found. It's Eric. Hi. Um, you're still playing games at this hour. Well, no. Now I just finished playing games at this hour because it's late. I, I just know. finished future. I just finished. I finished the blame. You finished the game. I played Futuropia from Freedom and Freeze. Did you like it? I really like it. It it's fiddly as all get out though. Trying yes. to main, trying to figure out like how many slots you have available. Uh, you can only you know put such a big apartment. You can only have so many empty slots and like what jobs are being fulfilled by robots and then who is living in that apartment above the robot and it, it it's it's a little crazy it's a brain burner it yes and for such a heavy game to have so much bookkeeping confusion is is more diff it makes it more difficult than it should be it's like an efficiency engine and it should it should flow better than it does is where i'm feeling right now which is disappointing because i really like freedom and freeze and it's one of these quirky freeze games yes but it's not one that i want to play again despite the fact that there's a lot of cool like variations there's an expert game that i don't think i'm ever going to play because the basic game is just too much of a hurdle. Ah, uh, that's where I it's am. It's sad. What about anyway. tomorrow? Are you doing anything in Jamaica? Uh, as long as the high T isn't broken like the roller coaster was, we're going to high T in Jamaica. Oh, nice, nice. And you're gonna have some crumpets with the tea, I assume. Uh, there may be crumpets. There, there. I, I imagine there will be cucumber sandwiches. I don't know. I'm not sure what Jamaican high tea is. We're going to find out. Yes, exactly. So we're wearing a nice shirt. As they say, when you have high tea, toodaloo, Eric. Toodaloo indeed, Jason. Toodaloo. So look who I found. Um, much younger than Eric. So of course she, of course she uh, can be up late. <laughs> and uh, originally, you weren't going to be coming on the cruise when we were originally in February because now you're in college. So yeah. college would have started. But with the cruise date moving, you were able to make it. So we're happy to have you. Are you having a good time again? It's amazing. I love this cruise so much. <laughs> and I know you're hoping that we do it in January again next yes. year so you can make it. I went on the voting thing too. I was like, please, this date. Please. <laughs> so, uh, if, so everything should be good. And, you know, we always are happy to see Melody. And, uh, you know, how's college been? It's been great. <laughs> I love college. Kind of not the homework. No one likes the homework. Come on. <laughs> but everything else you love? Making lots of friends. Have you made a game group out there? Kind of. Oh, that's awesome. I have awesome. like 12 games and try to play them. So. Oh, that's awesome. Well, uh, we'll we'll hopefully see you tomorrow, and and uh, we're glad that you're here with us. So look who else I found, Derek. Hello. So this is your last shindig with us before yes, you leave. Yes, it is. This is this is the last. Last time I tumbled down the dice tower. We're we're kind of sad. I'm sad. You know, I'm gonna miss yeah, you. I'm bummed. I'm, yeah, I'm bummed. I'm gonna find some way to stay connected to the community for sure. But yeah, I I know. I mean, though, the, I mean, you you did such amazing work and did such amazing editing for all these years. I mean, oh shucks, and I'm not crying. You're crying. Well, I mean, I you know, <laughs> I I think you do an amazing job. I mean, I mean, people. Some people know you, and some people don't, but. I really think that what you did with the editing, you were like the backbone of the Dice Tower and you made... Yes, but Roy's going to do it now and he'll be, he's going to do great. No, Roy is going to do great. <laughs> so, I don't need to talk to you anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. But, I mean, yeah. you were the one who kind of started the whole thing and made everything where we are. You handle the live streams. Yeah, you do I'm so super, much. I'm super and... proud of everything I accomplished. I love, love what I did with Dice Tower. I, I love that I can leave knowing that I'm leaving it better than I found it. That's, yeah. So. Yeah, and we're going to miss you, and, you know, you're going to you're gonna end up doing much better things in the future, so... Oh, yeah. You know, you're, you're going to do well, I think. There's, there's things happening. It's going to be good. So. Awesome. So, you know, 
it's something you'll have to tell me. I mean, I have your phone number, so I'll, I'll, I'll stay in touch. So you'll have to tell me what's going on in your life. I know you're going to be going back to Colorado. So. Yeah, yeah, i got to get back to, to closer to family. So. Yeah, so it, it'll be sad. But, you know, we have Roy. I mean, so life will move on. But, you know, of course, we wish you the so. best in everything, and we're going to miss you. Love you all. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I, oh, I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm just... I'm sad. Yeah. But I, I think I need to take my turn. Okay. We'll talk to you <laughs> soon. And, and we'll... we'll yeah. Love we'll, you, everybody. Yeah. Give your last message, everyone, because this <laughs> might be the last time you talk to them ever. Hopefully not. But if it is, keep your hands in the mayonnaise jar. It should be in there. I don't know what that means, but... Keep your hands in the mayonnaise jar. That's Derek. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap up for the night here, and I will see you guys tomorrow when we climb the waterfall, do laser tag, which we didn't actually get to do today, and a bunch of other things. Sky pad, I didn't do that yet. There's so much more to do, so much more to show you, but this trip has been great so far, and this is almost the end of day three, and I'm in a very good mood right now because it's been the smoothest one that I've run so far. Well, it's the end of the night. Going to get ready for bed. We got a long day tomorrow. Like I said, we're climbing the falls in Dunn's River. We'll be in Jamaica. We're going to do some events on the ship, some laser tech, some other things. I don't know exactly what, what my plan is because, you know, things seem to change all the time. I mean, it's busy running a convention and also trying to do this and do everything else. But so far, having a great time. Everything's been amazing. The people have been amazing. The gaming has been amazing. We're, I've been very happy with how everything's going. And we got two more days to go. One day in Jamaica, one whole day at sea, then we get back, and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying everything here as I bring you coverage from Dice Terror Cruise 3 here on the Independence of the Seas.